system or one battery. They will toss in two pods to get you started, a micro USB charging cable, and a user manual. So the Caliburn measuring in at 110 millimeters tall, 21 millimeters wide, 11.5 millimeters thick. It is constructed of an aluminum alloy weighing in at only 30 grams. So it is pretty lightweight. It is available in purple, gray, black, red, pink, and blue. Checking out the pod at the top. Once again, they do include two pods to get you started. And these pods hold up to 2 mLs of liquid. They're using a 1.4 ohm dual parallel vertical coil. So pretty much a single coil with two pieces of wire ran vertically. And I think that's the reason why this pod system has such great flavor is because of that coil. Now to fill it up, we got to remove the mouthpiece. To do so, just take your nail, put it under the side, and just pry the cap off. You'll have two 3.5 millimeter fill ports at the top. And then when you go to pop the cap back on, when you press it down, you'll kind of feel it lock into place. And I never had any issues to where the mouthpiece just decided to pop off. So it is a pretty tight fit. Remember, if you're using a pod for the first time, let it sit for about five or 10 minutes. You want the juice to absorb into the coil before you start vaping it. We got gold plated contacts at the bottom that are magnetic and when you drop it in you can feel those strong magnets kind of pull this thing into place the pod doesn't shake around doesn't move and we do have a dual firing feature on the caliburn you can use the physical firing switch on the front right here or you can use the auto draw feature so as you inhale it automatically turns on and turns off but for those who prefer a button you can press the button a nice feature is we can turn this on or off so if you're going to put it in your bag five clicks on five clicks off there is an led light on the front right there that will indicate the charge status of your battery when it's green your battery is between 60 and 100 percent when it's blue your battery is between 30 and 60 and when it's red it's below 30 and it's time to charge the device this one is using an internal 520 milliamp hour battery and it does have a one amp micro USB charge port that's located at the bottom. And the included micro USB cable is actually pretty long, which is really nice. Now the Caliburn will put out about 11 watts when the device is fully charged between 3.2 and 4 volts. And it does have the direct voltage output, meaning when the battery is fully charged, you're going to get the full wattage out of it, 11 watts. And then as the battery drains, the wattage will drop throughout the day until it's time to charge it. On the bottom right there, we got the UL logo laser etched into the finish. We got Caliburn on the back, and it is a very kind of run-of-the-mill looking pot system, but the magic to this thing is how it performs, and the flavor you get off of it is insane. So 